be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, as well as give me a thumbs up on the video, it does help out the channel. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, we haven't done this in a while, we're gonna jump right back into another 10, make, 10 minute beat making series here, all right? So what I'm gonna be doing is making a trap beat, 10 minutes or less, and as you know, um, actually, maybe you don't know if you're new to the channel. Basically, what we do is we do three videos. We make the beat in 10 minutes, then we're going to arrange the beat in 10 minutes, and then we're going to mix the beat in 10 minutes or less, okay? And uh, it's gonna be three different videos, so make sure you stick around. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we're gonna do is start creating some melodies here. I'm gonna do it with some stock instruments just so that you can follow along and get everything going like that. Now, before I actually get really going in this video, I do want to let you know, if you go to beatmakingbasics.com, I do have products and services to help you, okay? So let's just talk about it real, real quick. We're gonna get right into the video, I promise. So first off, I got kits for you, okay? Sound kits and drum kits, go check them out beatmakingbasics.com. I also have courses for you as well. I got one course is an introductory course to music production. So if you're brand new, get that course. I also got another course. It's all about how to make beats in Logic Pro 10. I have placements in TV and film. I worked with artists before. I'm gonna be showing you how to make beats for artists and for TV, all right? Um, and then I got some services. I'll review your beats and I will also uh, mix your beats for you if you need help with that. All right, grab this stuff before I raise the prices because the prices are going to go up. But anyway, let's jump into the video. So let me go ahead and put this timer up and we're going to get started on this trap beat now. So let me go ahead and get going with uh, this. So I got Alchemy here. I'm going to pull up musical typing just so you can see what I'm going to be playing here. And we're going to get this melody going first. Coming up, like making beats and stuff like that, I used to really love to make melodies. I really have ventured away from melodies and really started working on my drums, specifically because I used to suck at drums. And so, you know, now I'm more balanced on both. So let's just go ahead and jump right into some melodies. Melodies is all about getting inspired, you feel me? So like, if you can find something that you're inspired by, that's the best thing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play around with this. That's cool, but let's keep going. Actually, let me see what I got over here because we got these different other options here. Yeah. Alright, so that's a good sound. It's, it's kind of an inspirational sound here. Let me find a good BPM. Let's go with like 140. And we're gonna go ahead and put this measurement on line. Alright, cool. So now that I found where the notes are, I'm gonna go ahead and just run over here and do this this melody real quick. And really, I just freestyled that, you know what I mean? Um, didn't put too much thought into it. Just once I found what notes I wanted to play, just got right into it. Um, we're gonna put a 16 over, one over 16 swing on this. And that's our melody. Cool. So once we got that, I can also tell them over here, hold down option and just drag this down like maybe an octave. All 
Another thing I'll do here is I'll play around with these different options and see if I can come up with even a better sound. So let's just listen to how it sounds this way. Alright, we're going to go with this little chorus option right here. And I always tell people, you know, especially if you're using Logic Pro 10, if you just drag this this right here and drag it over here, you can put it in a quick sampler and there's more you can do to this melody. So that's what we're going to do. And now we got uh, our melody in the quick sampler. So let's just listen to see what it would sound like if we reverse it. free game, you know what I'm saying? Create a melody and reverse it, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and jump right into laying this down and this is gonna be what we're gonna start building our beat off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and push uh, record and do that. Cool, we'll quantize that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start laying down our uh, drums. So I'm going to be using actually um, this quick sampler. And I like Bricks Domain's drum kit here, so I'm gonna use that. We're just gonna go ahead and start with uh, like a little clap. Boom, we'll put that right there. All right, so we'll just start with a clap. We got about four minutes left in the video um, as far as making the beat, so let's jump right in. All right, cool. I'm not gonna waste too much time here. I always start with the clap first, just on the beat, just because it's, it's gonna give you that rhythm that you want. Um, I'm just gonna push Command D to double this, and then I can just click here and we can swap out the instrument. So we'll just do it like this. Let's go with some hi-hats next. And one way to do uh, hi-hats very quickly is by using the step sequencer. Literally, you can come over here and it's every other one. And then come over here to where as you see 16 steps and make it go to 64 steps. And then you can just add a little variations here and there. Very simple, man, and we're, we're getting it rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back to the piano roll. We'll go ahead and add um, another instrument. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the 808. That's the next thing that needs to come in on this beat right here. All right, so let's get the key first.
cool. <clears throat> Quantize that real quick, and then we're just gonna go ahead and add one or two more parts. We should be able to get this beat done within our 10 minute time frame. So I'm gonna add a snare next. Right. <clears throat> quantize that I always put a swing on it just makes it you know flow a little better and uh, yeah for now I think that's almost done we just need a kick so just got to find a dope kick drum now All right, so we're going to use that one. And I pretty, pretty much just followed the pattern here. <clears throat> Only other thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to double this and I'm going to take this pattern that we created and I'm going to put it like an octave lower and then an octave higher. So that's on F right there. And we'll double this one more time. And drag this over here and I'm just gonna put it an octave higher now. All right, cool. So we, we're a little bit over, but I'm gonna add one more sound here. Um, and what I'm going to do is this double this right here and we'll just find us a cool sound, maybe a choir sound. Let's see what we got here. I'm simple man you know that's one thing I know when it comes to making beats simplicity is going to win every time you just got to find the right balance of simplicity and complex elements within that anyway y'all this is the beat 10 minutes or less we went over about like maybe two minutes on the making of the beat but you know you get the overall idea again go to my site beatmakingbasics.com I got a melody pack that's on there it's crazy it's called the Blue Fire Melody Pack. I also got a crazy course. It's called Beat Making in Logic Pro 10 10.5. Make sure you cop those courses and the melody packs on my site. Um, and without further ado, we're out.